guys! My name is Abdul Rahman Siddiqui, aka Pakistani Pepper. I'm a high school teacher and Google Certified Educator. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Google Forms to document attendance for students that aren't in front of you and how you can use Google Sheets to keep track of that attendance. Google Forms is a great tool for taking attendance for people who aren't physically in the room, which is what's happening now with remote learning. So today I'm going to show you how you can set up your form so you can track every student's email, attendance, date of attendance, and how you can filter and track that in Google Sheets. Quick note on my channel, there's quite a few Google Classroom and other related teaching tutorials for both students and teachers, and some lighthearted comedy skits. If that appeals to your interests, consider subscribing. Now, let's head on over to the Google Form tutorial for attendance right now. Begin by going to google.com and signing in with your school email. Once signed in, click on the top right Apps button and scroll down until you see Forms. Click on Forms. This will take you to a new page where it will allow you to create forms. Start a new form by clicking Blank. At this point, you should see a new blank untitled form. Go ahead and title it for your attendance. In the form description, make clear that you are using this for attendance to students. As you can see, my form is automatically collecting email addresses for my students. You want to make sure that option is checked. For the first question, ask for the student's name. It will automatically turn to a short answer. Make sure it is required by clicking on the little slider at the bottom. Now hit plus on the right to add a question. Now state your class. You can make this a multiple choice and select options, but I prefer to do it as a drop down. In each option, list each of your classes. Once again, make the question required. Once again, add another question by clicking on the plus sign on the right. This time, ask the student what day they are attending the class. As you can see, it will automatically transform to a date question, which is what you need. Once again, make it required. And that is the basic setup of your form. When you click on responses, you will see that there are currently zero responses. But on the right side, there is a little button that asks you to create a spreadsheet. It will automatically have the spreadsheet titled as the responses to your forms title. Go ahead and create that new spreadsheet. When it opens up, this spreadsheet will be the place where all your answers will get populated once they start coming in. It will automatically update. On the top right, click send and send via link, the second option. Shorten your URL, copy it, and now paste it wherever you need your students to see it. I, for example, share via Google Classroom, but you can do so via email, chat, whatever you may wish. Now, for now, I'm done creating the form. So let's see what things look like on the student end. On the student end, once the student clicks on the link, they are going to see their login. 
After logging into their email, students will come across the form that we just created. As you can see, it logs their email and then asks them for their name, their class, and the date of attendance. Students can wish to ask for a copy of the response that they want and then click Submit. Now, keep in mind, the option to submit another response is there, and a student would only submit one response a day, but they do need to submit repeated responses or attendance for every day they're there. So now the student does the attendance for the next day and hit Submit. And the student is done. Back on the teacher view, I now see that two responses have been submitted. When I click on the spreadsheet that I had previously created, it now shows me in detail the email address, the name, the class that the student has submitted for, and the attendance. And most importantly, on the leftmost column, there is a timestamp at what time the student submitted the response. So this I can use to keep students on a schedule. So for example, the student said their date of attendance was 325, but I know they submitted it on 322. So I know I need to reach out to them and say, you weren't in class on the 25th. Now when I highlight the top column and click the filter button, I can also start filtering my options. This is necessary for when I have multiple emails, multiple student names, multiple classes. So maybe I only want to see period three right now and I will see all the period three responses or the period two and then I see the period two and period three. I can also look at specific dates. This is what will help me keep my logbook more than anything. That these are all the responses for 326 right now. And that is essentially everything I need to do to log student attendance in Google Forms. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below. And as always, if content like this appeals to your interest, consider subscribing. This is Paxani Pepper saying peace out, stay peppery, and don't forget, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. Have an awesome day, guys.